Okay, back at it again today. Uh, DJ getting some uh, more therapy with Keith. And what I'd like to ask today is, what are the benefits of youth hands-on soft tissue therapy? Or is it even something that's necessary at this age? Um, and, and can you start something like this at an earlier age? Uh, there's definitely a lot of benefits. The problem is with, with younger kids is I don't exactly know why. I think it's because their nervous systems are still really developing. It's that their skin can be very sensitive. And so giving massage work is very, uh, it's very ticklish. And they're very jumpy. I have two, two boys, 10 and 7. And it's really, really hard to get them to be able to relax. Mm -hmm. And even DJ, who's 14. Yeah. For I mean, he is a hard. He's learning how. So mm. it's not always an easy thing um, for children to be able to handle it. Now mm. you get to the age now where his body's maturing. He's producing uh, forces, and you know his his velocities in his track in probably in football is so high now. Where he's he's at a point where he can really inflict a lot of force onto his tissues and ligaments. As is evident, he just got a little his first sort of tweak. Mm -hmm. you know? Luckily, it wasn't too bad. Right. Um, so, I would say, in his case, absolutely, that, that the benefits are, are, are huge. Mm -hmm. and, you know, the same benefit there would be for, for an older person or, you know, a little bit more mature athlete. You go. But uh, when they're younger, uh, probably, you know, just lots of physical touch, but more in a playful way. Uh, kids just rolling around a lot, I think, is very, very helpful. Yeah. To just get their skin to be able to handle, um, like the massage sticks and things like that. Mm -hmm. I, I bought my older son, who's 10, one of those little sticks. They have, they have a little one for kids, and so I'm trying to get him to use that more, just to get that skin to get used to it. Mm -hmm. Because that's, you know, the first thing, that's the first barrier is the skin. Right. So it's, it's, you've got to kind of sensitize the skin. I mean, I know for a lot of kids who have, neurodevelopmental issues, you know, there's different kinds of brushes and things they'll do just to brush the skin every day, mm -hmm. and that can be used by healthy people too, to actually, it really kind of changes their brain a little bit, and it, it, it can actually make them more mellow and kind of calm them down, because they're getting a little bit better, like, sensory input mm -hmm. from all of their skin, so that's kind of one of the big issues with, with soft tissue work in uh, children, okay. it's just kind of the differences in their their sensation mm -hmm. and their skin, but I mean the benefits are obviously very, very good for any age. Right. right. Uh, okay. All right. DJ, you look like are you in pain? No. Not no. Anymore. Not anymore. Okay. All right. So DJ, do you think that this benefits you? Yeah. It does. Okay. You don't look like it right now, but. Yeah, but he's getting better. I mean, his skin is learning slowly over time to be able to handle. Right. Um, this type of pressure. And one thing that's really, really important is like your skin is sort of like your brain on the outside. Mm -hmm. It comes from the same tissue. Okay. You know, from when you're just a little single cell. Oh, uh -huh. So the brain and the skin actually come from the exact same original cell. Uh -huh. So your skin is sort of like your brain on the outside, is what I like to tell people. Mm -hmm. So getting that, you know, that skin, um, and getting that touch, it actually changes your like the, the, the mass of your body in your brain, that, you know, they call them, I guess, mind maps or mm -hmm. body maps. And so it's real important uh, that, that you know kind of your whole body. And mm -hmm. so doing some form of massage, even if it's self-massage, mm -hmm. using rollers or sticks, you know, rolling out the bottom of the feet, things like that, at least semi-frequently, is really, really good for your brain. It's not just about the muscles and, you know, the skin over it, but it's, it's what that's doing inside your brain, kind of getting, getting you a little more in touch. So. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. Let's continue. Continue.